Um, when I was around Ian, I knew there was something super special there because he was just so phenomenal. I, I remember when we competed in Fukuoka in Japan uh, at the Pan Pacific Championships in 1997, I'd just turned 17. He was 14 years of age. And I, I touched the wall for the 400 meter freestyle and I, I think I went 347.2. And I think it would have won the Olympics the year before, which Daniel Loder, um, the Kiwi, mm. won the 400 meter freestyle in Atlanta. And I turned around and I didn't even stay focused on my time, which was a PB for, for too long, because I saw who was in second and I saw 3 minutes 49 Thorpe. And I was like, 3 minutes 49? Mm. He's 14? <laughs> <laughs> What is going on there? Yeah. He broke the Australian record. I think it was Ron McKean's 20-year-old. So it was a phenomenal record of 4.07. Yeah. He broke it by 18 seconds. Mm. That's how much he lowered that mark. So, you know, after seeing that, but then the thing was, it was every time we competed, we improved. So, you know, we, we got a, you know, a certain sort of milestone at that particular meet. But then a few months later, we'd go a little bit faster. Then... The next year we go to world championships and finish first and second there and go 346 low. He was 15, I was 17. We'd then go to Commonwealth Games trial. He would break Duncan Armstrong's um, 147.25, which he beat Matt Biondi um, with in 1988 to win the Olympics. Thought he broke that as a 15 year old. And then he went 146 yeah. a few months later at Com Games and then we both went 344 together. So it was kind of just like, wow, you can do that. We'll do this, we'll do that. But seeing those times and just the way we were bringing those, those world records down, um, you couldn't help think that this was special. And, and, yeah, people say, God, you would have been winning the 200, 400, 800, 1500 every single <coughs> meet across the line if you, across the world um, if you didn't have Ian there. And I said, well, but maybe if I didn't have Ian there, I wouldn't be so good at those, those races as mm. well. So you never know. Yeah. So I, I worked the competition. And the fact I got to race an athlete of his calibre and even beat him a couple of times – um, was was a fantastic thing in my career. And, and one um, real highlight uh, in that was 1999 when we went to World Short Course in Hong Kong. And the world record was 340. Um, Ian had just broken at the trials for that meeting on 339.8. And then all of a sudden I went 335.0 and he went 335.7 in that race. And we'd lowered the mark by, by another, you know, almost five seconds. Um, and those were things where we'd turn around and, and we were even blown away by some of the, the, the things that we were achieving. So it was just a really nice era. And I knew everything that was going on was special because you just don't get athletes of his caliber every day, if ever. Yeah. 